Hey guys, it's Melvin7 here, bringing you episode 3 of my series, Who Performs Best, Serie A Striker Edition. In this episode, Balotelli will be going up against Melito in Game 3 of the quarterfinals. Um, yeah, it's a pretty unusual matchup, to be honest. Um, I, I'm going to say Balotelli's going to edge this, but it's going to be very close because Melito generally is pretty good on FIFA. I haven't really used him too much on FIFA 14, so we'll see how he is. As you can see, if you haven't seen from last episode, this is now on next gen. Every episode of Who Performs Best will now be on next gen. So, hope you enjoy that, and let's get straight into the three games and see who does go into the semi final. Okay, so that game was a 10 goal thriller and it did finish 6-4 to him. Could have went either way really, I mean I know there was a point when I was 5-2 down but you know I did have a few shots so did he, a perfect result for that would have been 5-5 and I know I'm getting a lot of losses in this series and I keep saying it's not about the result but at least you are getting to see a fair amount of goals. I'm still adapting to next gen because the gameplay is slightly different. So hopefully I'll start winning a lot more, but anyway, it's not about the result. Um, when, yeah, he's pressed in now, so I'll let you know what the match ratings are. Right, Balotelli got 7.6 and so did Milito, he got 7.6 as well. So very, very even ratings there. As you can see, Maggio was the star player um, in this match anyway. Usually it's Asamoah, to be honest, he's the biggest surprise in this team. See, it, it, so even apart from possession, 13 shots for me, 11 on target, 12 for him, 10 on target, deserved to be 5-5 five, five in my opinion, 44 possession for me, 56 for him, great game, really enjoyed it, not too bothered I lost, anyway, on to game 2.
Okay, so that did end in a 2-1 victory to me, which I'm very, very happy about. I shit myself when I saw his team and he had Ronaldo and a beast La Liga team. But I have won 2-1. And as you can see, Next Gen shows the outside of the stadiums and obviously that was Old Trafford. So it's quite a nice little addition. Balotelli got an 8.2 rating, Melito a 6.8, so Balotelli is quite a distance ahead now, but yeah, you know that might change in game 3. I had 14 shots, 7 on target, he had 9, 6 on target, I had 49 possession, percent possession, and he had 51. So fairly even, happy with the win, on to game 3. Okay, so the guy did leave, um, I won 5-2, I think I was playing very well that game, glad I've had a pretty big win in this episode, so that's two wins and one loss that could have been a draw. Anyway, Balotelli got 9.4 and Melito got 9.5, surprisingly neither were man of the, eh, who was man of the match? I think that's because the game hasn't finished, but Melito's man the match. But anyway, 9.4 for Balotelli, 9.5 for Melito. Let's see the match stats. I had 10 shots, 10 on target. He had 10 and 6 on target. He had more possession, but yeah, 100% shot accuracy for me, which is actually pretty good on my in my opinion. Anyway, let's just get straight into the average match ratings and see who does progress to the semi-final. Right, so I will quickly review Balotelli and Melito quickly here. <coughs> um, uh, I'm a bit disappointed with Melito. Um, I don't know, he, he doesn't seem to be like what I remember him in FIFA 12 and FIFA 13. He seems to be fairly average and uh, I don't know, he didn't seem to be in the game very much for me anyway. Um, Balotelli on the other hand Again, wasn't as good as FIFA 12 or 13, but he still was very, very good, very strong, good at shooting. One thing I was surprised at, um, because I haven't really used Balotelli this year, and I haven't really looked at reviews or whatever, is that he's got three-star skill. Um, that's a bit of a disappointment, considering on FIFA 13 he did have uh, four-star skill, so it allowed you to cut inside a lot more with elastico chops, burba spins, stuff like that. So now that he doesn't have it, it kind of gives him a little bit of a defect. I mean, he still is really, really good. Don't get me wrong. He's got a rocket of a shot and he is extremely strong. So he is good, but he's not as good as he was in FIFA 13, in my opinion. 
Anyway, the match ratings. Game 1, Balotelli got 7.6, Melito 7.6. In Game 2, Balotelli got 8.2, Melito 6.8. In Game 3, Balotelli got 9.4, Melito 9.5. So that does mean that the average match ratings were Balotelli 8.4 and Melito 7.96. So that does mean that the winner for this episode is Balotelli. So Balotelli did win by quite a distance. 0.5 is a lot in this series as it's only three games and it is the average. Um, uh, it's not really a big surprise because I, I, I really didn't enjoy playing with Melito and I'm glad Balotelli did win because he was quite good and that was Skype if you heard that, sorry about that. Anyway, next episode will be Dinatale vs Vukanic in the last quarter final. Um, in episode 5, which will be the first semi-final, I'll go through all four semi-finalists so I don't ruin it in any of the quarter final videos in case you haven't seen any of them and you do want to. But if you don't want to watch an episode or whatever or don't have the time, then episode 5 will go through all four semi-finalists. But anyway, if you have enjoyed, please do hit that like button, it really does help my channel. Subscribe for daily FIFA 40 next gen content and peace. Thank <laughs> you.